In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for the ionic compound SR3N2, strontium nitride. So the first thing is, let's write the element symbols for strontium. So we have three of these strontium atoms, SR, SR, SR. And then for the nitrogen, we have two nitrogen atoms. Since strontium is a metal and nitrogen is a nonmetal, we'll treat this as an ionic compound. And the metals, they'll transfer electrons to the nonmetals. Strontium, that's in group two, so each strontium will have two valence electrons. Nitrogen's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. Each nitrogen, five valence electrons. So we said the metal will transfer electrons to the nonmetal, since we have an ionic compound here. So we'll move one here, here, and here. And now this nitrogen, it has eight valence electrons, so it has an octet, very stable. We have three more electrons. We'll move them over to this nitrogen. At this point, each nitrogen has eight valence electrons. It has an octet. The strontium, each strontium lost two valence electrons. Since electrons are negative, it lost two negative charges. Each strontium now has a two plus ionic charge. The nitrogen atoms, they each gained three electrons. They'll have three minus as their ionic charge. And we want to show that those electrons were transferred. They're not shared like in a covalent bond. Since they're transferred, let's put brackets around each nitrogen. So this is the Lewis structure for SR3N2, strontium nitride. You'll note that this is what we call a formula unit. Strontium nitride will exist as a crystal when it's a solid. And because of that, you'll have a repeating pattern of these formula units. But this gives us a good idea about how the electrons are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal in the Lewis structure of SR3N2, strontium nitride. Thanks for watching.